Buddha. Do you have to accept it? I think so, yeah. Hi. Hi. Who are I'm we? Who, who, wh wait, what? What is going on here? Yep, yeah, really. I mean, who are we? Distant stitches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've seen each other in between the last eight months. So welcome to Distant Stitches. This is episode 26. I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. And I'm Liz, also known as Jaded Knitter. And we're back, bitches. <laughs> yep. Yay. This is going to be a hot mess, as Bento would say, because I couldn't find half my shit. And I'm not entirely sure what half of my shit is. Well, there we go. It's just a, we're a perfect match. I mean. No, no. So, um, okay, what's the usual spiel? We are on Instagram. Both of us have our own accounts. I'm Crafty Knitter 7. I'm Jaded Knitter. We have the Distant Stitches Instagram account, which I have been neglecting. I'm so sorry. And Ravelry, same names. Yep. And we have a group on Facebook, which is basically abandoned. I'm not even 100% sure I'm part of the group on Facebook. I don't even go on Facebook anymore, to be honest. Like, I'm on there while I'm working because I need Messenger. <laughs> it's the only reason. Um, we have a Ko-fi page. So if you want to donate to that, that will help with, you know, if and when we send prizes out, yada, yada. So let's jump right into it yep off the needles sure go so, no, what i currently have in my hands oh. i have foes nice I better have foes after eight months well i'm showing one that that's all you're getting from me i probably couldn't find half of them that is beautiful that is this is the choose love shawl it is bigger than um the pattern calls for because i did extra repeats for all of the sections yep and then did an extra section and some extra stuff at the bottom because this is bente's christmas yarn from last year yes and i had to use as much as i possibly could well you had to use all of it well exactly um so i sent my poster. kit to leanne because purples not my color, but I had to support her. So that is the choose love. I'm just going to write that down. Yep. And that oh, is, is that the one that I test knit? Yes. Okay. Uh, for City Knit Girls. Yeah. I can send you the, no. I can find the show notes afterwards. Before. No, I'll just write it down. Okay. That way, if you want to send it, you can. If not, no worries. Pente's yarn. Don't ask me what needle size or needle We're not going there. We're not going there. That would be kind of like half professional, and we're not that. And I mean, I have a faux. Do you have any more? Yes. Okay, I'll show mine, and then you can do the faux parade. Okay. So, amongst the eight months that have passed, I got exposed to COVID because I was a dumbass. Well, no, my daughter was a dumbass. Let's just say that. In the car with me, I have a tickle in the in the back of my throat I didn't think anything of it next day she's feeling like absolute crap what does Sue do goes over without a mask and tests her daughter for COVID so the day before because we knew I might have been exposed the hubby and the boy stayed away I tested negative three days in a row finally day four when I was feeling like I wanted to die did I test positive Yep. And, and she does this like what, three weeks before you come down to visit me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Cause that's how we roll. It is. Yeah. So I knit a muscle girl. So, you know, everybody knows the muscle girl. I ain't putting it on. It's not happening. Uh, this yarn is brain my yarny corner. So my friend Alex in the UK who has a, who dyes yarn. And this is called Mystical Panther. Like, love. This is a hard color to, to show, but 
Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh yeah. Um, I used, I didn't use the whole skein. I think I had like maybe 20 grams left. I probably could have just kept going because it would have it because once you fold this up, you've got the quadruple brim and it's a little short. But I'm not going back. We're not doing that. I don't know what needles they are. I told you what the yarn is. And that's the only faux I'm gonna show you. Now you do the faux show. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna skip. We're gonna skip this one because I don't know what yarn it is. I don't know what pattern it is. And it was before our time. Yeah, I think so. Fairly certain it was. Or before we started recording again. Yeah, it might've been after, but I don't know. Anyway, so if anyone has seen this and knows what it is, let me know. (laughs) Or should I do like I did for my friend Valerie? She was knitting on something, posted it on Instagram, had no idea what it was. So I went snooping in her photos and I found it. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem is it's not in the photos. Yeah. That, that would have been smart. It's also not on my Ravelry page. Yeah. It's in it. the abyss. It's in the abyss. Um, salty so have, Air. Yes, this is the Salty Air Tea by Samantha. Garen. Garen? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I did oh, you mine. made it longer. Yes, I did mine as a tunic, and I'm actually going to undo the bottom and add another ball of yarn because I found more. This is the Elizabeth of old. Um, yeah. Yarn that keeps on giving. Yes. I have like three different, like I've got a sweater and then two different tops in green in the exact same Which yarn. Which she didn't give me any. Well, no. And I still have skeins of that yarn. And I've got this one, and I found another skein of the blue because I thought I'd knit it all, but I found another skein of the blue. So I'm going to undo it and re knit another couple of inches at the bottom. But yeah, this is the salt. I have the pattern right here. I can actually show the picture. You mean this one? Oh, that one. Yeah, that. Yep. Yeah. I think Nina's knit three of them. Oh, wow. I think she's on her third. So, And then I've got like a pile of dishcloths because I'm on a kick for some unknown reason. Yeah, just pop those in my Christmas gift. It's all good. Okay. Um, and then the cozy for my, uh, this is my, I have a Chemex coffee brewer. So that's the, the cozy. That's awesome. I still Wait. use the cozy for my smoothies on my glass jar that you gave me. Excellent. And then the other thing that I'm kind of most proud of is the yeah, FO. I published my book. I started it the other day, finally. Cool. So it is. That will published. be linked in the show notes. So yes. you've shown it. Give a premise. What is it about? Um, it is. It's. Modern fantasy. Mm-hmm. Um, it is um, somewhat of a romance novel, and it's basically um, how to explain it. It's got you know the standard stuff, you know, fae and demons, and oh, yeah, we'll link it in the show notes. Of a lot, yeah, yeah. It's not under my name; it is under my pen name, which is Terry Jade. Yep. And so. how long did this take? Um, I think I wrote, because I wrote it for National Novel Writing Month. Mm-hmm. Fairly certain I did it in 2008, 2009, something like that. It, it's a good 10 years in the making. You were, uh, we met in 2012. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that was already written by the time. Yeah, I, I think it was already written. I think the editing stage was like the worst for you. Yes. It is for everybody though, isn't it? Even with like a pattern. Oh yeah. Because oh, like yeah. somebody rips apart your work. <laughs> well, so yeah, figuring out how to publish it. Because up until fairly recently, publishing it wasn't easy. No, but um, with Kindle, it's, it's easier? It is. Okay. Um, and it's gotten easier in the last three, four years, 
because it's through Kindle and it's through Amazon, it means I have to have American stuff when it comes to taxes. Oh. And you used to actually have to file taxes with the IRS. You don't you now. You don't anymore. Because I'm Canadian. Um, I should preface that because I'm Canadian, I do not have to file taxes with the IRS because they've gone, okay, you live and work in Canada. You don't have a U.S. residence. You've legally signed a document stating this. So we'll let the CRA do it. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. That's and it. honestly, I haven't made enough on the book for the CRA to care. No. Uh, it's not going to change my taxes. I'm not going to bring you up a bracket. No, no. I love hey, it. It's out there. It's in the world. It's done. Yep, it is. It is. It is. And I have my next book a couple of chapters in. Because this is book one, right? So it's a This series. is book one. Um, I am not actually working on book two. I'm You're writing something else. Something else entirely. Yeah. Cool. Because that's how I roll. Cool exciting Very. um what was i gonna say any more fo's um no okay because like i said there's just a whole bunch of dishcloths so you're knitting on a dishcloth are you using a particular pattern um One. it's a pattern i picked up and of course i closed it um we actually got the books years and years ago oh it. the dishcloth books yeah, the, it was Dishcloth Diva. Yep. And we got um, her books. It's Deb Buckingham. Yep. She gave us the books to review back when oh, we were doing. Way back. Uh, yeah, way back. Circuit to Tangle Skeins. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. And it's actually, it's not technically one of her patterns, simply because I screwed up and actually like the screw up, so. Oh, well, hey, design feature. Yeah, exactly. Based loosely on. <laughs> Not even loosely. It's, it's, I just missed a line in the pattern. And worked out. And it worked out. And I like it, so I duplicated it. That's awesome. But yeah. Um, it's just one of those things that you pick up. It could be a palate cleanser, or you're just like, I got no mojo. I'm just going to do this. Yep. I've been off this week, and at the beginning of the week, I didn't have brain. And I went, no, no, no. I started doing, that's a mitt, it's color work. That's a cat. We'll get into the. Is that the cat? Yes, that is the cat. Cool. Uh, I can show a whip. Okay. So I'm actually knitting a sock, knitting a sock, not cranking. And this is what I've got. So I have the, that's the toe. This is Fall Symphony self-striping from Arctic Crafts. And I'm just about to the point, he, uh, that's the toe, sorry, it's flipped, um, where I'm going to uh, do the cuff because if I do another toe, when I split it, they'll be opposite. You don't want to know how long this took me to like brain and Sean's like why don't you just just do the toe I'm like no he's like why I'm like because then maybe opposite can't have that so these are socks for me and I mean I still have this left I guess it's crazy like there's 65 grams here oh wow yeah um and so then I've got the yellow Ooh, okay. Is the yeah. yellow going to be the heels? Yeah. Yeah. Yellow is the heels. And I'm on, I've gone down to a 2.25 for my socks now. Yep. And I've got my little pumpkin progress keeper because, you know, fall. Exactly. Yeah. So, and it's a 64 stitch. So that's one whip. Yes, because she has delicate little feet, unlike my clod hoppers. You do. Um, so what's that? This is, um, these are, socks are Business Casual by Tannis Lavallee. 
Oh yeah, that's a good pattern. Canis fiber arts, yes. Um, it's a wonderful pattern. I, again, loosely based off of, because this, the pattern is actually top down and I didn't tell up. And I'm okay with doing patterns like that. Oh yeah. And I mean, this is a pattern because it's, um, yeah, just a little bit of, are those baubles? No. Okay. Just the way you were holding it up, it looked like baubles. No, no, no. Okay. It's, um, shoot. The, the ones where you, you move stitches and they cross. Cables? cables. Thank you. It's cables. It's, it's these very, things. Yeah, it's these things. Okay. Well, it's because of the change in the color of yarn. Every so often there's a white pop and it looks like a bauble from me. Gotcha. For me. There are no baubles on my Okay. Screen. Good, good, good. Because, you know, we could not be friends anymore. Yeah, we'll draw the line. <laughs> yeah, you gotta draw a line somewhere. Um, there is a slight problem. Oops. Take out sheet. That is all the yarn I have left. I still have to do half a diamond and an entire cuff. And that okay, is all the yarn I have who, left. Who's gonna see the cuff? That's not enough to do a half diamond. That's not even enough to do a cuff. Oh, so what are you going to do? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm only a few rows past um, kind of a decent stopping point to so the top of one of the diamonds. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to that and then do the cuff and then undo this one. To match. And get rid of, yeah, get rid of the half diamond because it's like a half an inch difference. Yeah. And that's okay. Kind of and it's toe up, so. Exactly. And this is why I do toe up. Because if I was doing toe down. Toe down? Cuff down? Cuff down. Hot I'm mess, people. Down. Hot mess. It's all good. Because, yeah. you know, speaking. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, wonderful pattern. And Business casual. I'll have to remember that. That's kind of a oh, better. Okay, now I recognize it. Sorry, that yeah. was really loud. Yeah. That's kind of, that's a better picture of it. Because mm -hmm. um, you can see the, the diamonds done in the cables. Yeah. I like your shirt. What does it say? Uh, there is no such thing as too much yarn. This was uh, part of my birthday gift for this week. From wall. Along with. Oh, yes. My pug yeah. mug. I was working from Ashley's house the other day because the, they turned our power off to do work in the area. And I'm like, I'm going to use cat mom mug that I made for coffee. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I have a saltier tea on the needles. And it's in my window bag. My kites, my coffee latte kites, which I made myself. I do um, like bags. Mine is knit out of Arctic Crafts Pole Dale, and it's natural gray, which she doesn't she doesn't have in the shop. Like she bought it to over dye, but being me, she sent me some, and I'm just just into the pattern. And would you like to know what else I'm doing? Of course. Oh, I'm using a chart. Nice. I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I just started it not long ago. And I'm finding it actually a little mindless, this chart. It is. And once you uh, get the hang of it, it's very, very like it, um, it repeats. It's intuitive. Like, I mean, it I've is. got crap ton of stitch markers. Um, and then I got... <laughs> I have to show these. I got these needle stoppers. Uh, I'll have to link it. I don't remember from who. E, those are cute. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Um, so yeah, so I got my ball of yarn in here. That's my next whip. And obviously Samantha Garen because it's the same pattern that you did. Um, what else do you got? The other thing I have is I had a request from my friend Brent who some of you may remember, I did like a hat and mitts and scarf form last year. 
That's I have to redo the hat because the hat was too small. That's the yarn that we bought when I was with you, right? Yes. Um, so this is, as you can probably tell from the colors, this will be the Cheshire Cat. And the fuzz. Yes. It is alpaca. It's um, Surrey Lace. No. Um, I've forgotten what it is. Is it Surrey Alpaca? No. Oh, no. What is it? Uh... The, the Rowan stuff. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. You will okay. know what we're talking about. It's Dude. the Rowan stuff. Yeah. Still K's? Yes, kids still K's. Um, but it's the larger weight, not the... Um, not the lace. Not the lace. Although, actually, one of them is lace and one of them is not. So it's a DK in total. Mm -hmm. um, you have a cat butt. I have a cat butt and body. Um, and no stuffing. I need to go get stuffing. I thought I had stuffing. I don't. I'm like, have, I've got a huge bag right in there. Yeah. I you thought think I had you have some and then you don't. And it's like, what do you mean I don't have any left? Well, exactly. I had a, I bought a huge bag and all I kept of it was enough to do um, a whole bunch of um, hexi puffs for the beekeepers quilt. And then I made a couple of gnomes and used it. The last bit in that. I see my gnome from here. So I have beads. I have the the weighted beads for it, but I do not have. Mm -hmm. those. Well, of course, I went out bought a new bag of stuffing because I couldn't find mine. What did I find? Like I think three days later, when I was looking, my bag of stuffing. Of course. So. And the only thing I can get here in town is like the massive bags, which I'm. Not Order it buying. on Amazon. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Hello. Yeah, I don't Do you know. You have why. a picture of the pattern? Yes. So this is the pattern that I'm using. Oh god, that's so cute. I know, right? Um, it's not the original pattern that we had. Um, so the original one looks like very much looks like a little kitten. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to stripe it. I like that one better. I like this one, yeah. Um, so it is the double knit playful cat. And it's uh, Knitting by Post is the author of the pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, it's British double knit, not North American double knit. Right. Not double knitting. No. Referring to the fact that it's DK weight. <laughs> um, which took me a bit to figure out. And it's like, oh, right. Um, but yeah, it will be oh. Cheshire Cat once it's done. So I think it will be fabulous. It is, it's gonna and be very cute. It is very cute. So my next project is in, I will have to link the shop because she's in BC and I can't remember her name, but do you think I had to buy this when I saw it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's, I that. and then this button on the front inside it's like full of pockets which is like i don't know if you can see them oh yeah all the way around so what i have in here i need to finish because this was a birthday gift for my daughter which was on the seventh but i don't think she needs a sweater yet no no it's still a good this is the miles jacket mm which I'm in love with and will probably have a hard time parting with. And I'm making it out of the Illimani Amelie. So it's like a, it's like a, it's knitted. It's like a knitted cord. Oh, yeah, yeah, this. This is the stuff that I originally bought to make the Cheshire Cat out yeah. of the cord, right stuff. Like yeah. if you look close, you can see. It's like a tube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, it weighs, this thing weighs nothing, like nothing. So let me see if I can, I, I've got a partial sleeve. Where is it? There it is. Okay. I got a partial sleeve done. So that's kind of the back and it's got like that shirt jacket mm. swoop and then the collar. 
you knit the collar and then you double it over and attach it. It's like so squishy. Yeah, I might and, have one of those. Um, yeah, button band was done separately. But I mean, I'm this much on the sleeve. I don't got, I don't have a lot left. And then I can do sleeve too. So it shouldn't take too long, but I'm just like, it's just like it weighs nothing and it's going to be warm. Oh God, yeah. So yeah. warm. And I think I'm only on like the fourth bowl. Oh, nice. And they're not very big. Like that's the cake there. They're not very big. So yeah, I think she's going to like that. So that's my other whip. Do you have any more? Um. I had started like a cloud, which is oh yes, um, and it it pretty much looks like that. Mine's more of a purple. Unfortunately, I am going to have to rip the entire thing out. Oh no, because I don't have enough yarn, oh. and there is no way to get more yarn because it was discontinued. <laughs> of course, it was. Yeah, I got through. Um, I did most of the body and I figure, okay, I'll do the sleeves, like one ball each for the sleeves and then everything else I can put into the body. The problem is the sleeves actually took more than I thought they would. So when I put it on to try it on, I'm going to end up with it cropped and oh. A, it does not look right. And B, I don't actually like crop sweaters. Well, no, I'm not a crop sweater, sweater person either. Yeah. Um, so it's going, I meant to find it and like, so I could actually show it before I ripped it out, which is why it hasn't been ripped out yet, except I can't find it. I think my sofa either. So the other thing I have on the needles is the double tape tee. Try not to get a glare. And this is from uh, Espas Tricot which is a store local-ish to us in Montreal. And it's knit flat, but I didn't want to do it flat because, you know, why would I want to? And it's knit bottom up. So I got to the part where I had to start increasing for the sleeves. And upon talking to you and to Bente, it was like, you, there's no way to knit it in the round with the construction it was. So This is how I'm creating the sleeves um, here like that. So that's where the armhole is. I'm almost done this part. So once this is done, then I can start the other side. Um, I think it's going to be a little big, which is fine. And this is the My Yarny Corner Mystical Panther because I had to buy a sweater quantity after I finished the hat. Problem was, <laughs> Poor Alex, I'm trying to get the hat that fell, sorry. She didn't write it down, it was one off. So, I mean, she got pretty close. Mine's more blue. Yeah. But yeah, so she dyed me up a sweater quantity of that. It was hilarious. She's like, um, basically she didn't have, she couldn't get the one of the dyes in the colorway anymore. So there was no way it was gonna be the same. And it's in one of my little kitty bags that I made for myself. And that's it for whips for me. I mean, I have a basket of whips sitting there, which is embarrassing, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not going there. No, we're not going there. Uh, anything else? Let me just see. Um, so we do have a mal going on in the group that people are still participating in. I go in every once in a while and check it out. So it's the um, pattern in stash along. So it's using patterns from your stash and yarn from your stash. And there is one thread, FOs and whips. Um, I mean, we're gonna draw prizes in January. I still have a few prizes left besides that. That's really the only thing going on in the group. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been watching my usual podcasts, which have come down to like four of them, My Ernie Corner, Arctic Crafts, Fleece and Harmony, and where is it? No, five, 
I'll knit or spin if I want to. The Andrea Maury once a week ones. Have you watched those? She answers questions. Oh, okay. I love it. She answers questions. And so you learn a lot when she's like trying to explain to people what they're asking. And also Selma, Little Big Knits. That's pretty much all life stuff. It's just, it's, it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm currently trying to de-stash my entire house to move back to Ottawa. Yeah. So that will happen at some point. Hopefully, sooner it's rather slow, than later. Yes, sooner mm. rather than later, but it's slow going. It'll happen eventually. You basically have to go through the house and go, do I want to move this again? Pretty much. <laughs> and moving because we're seven hours give or take um not cheap it's not cheap because when you're moving distance um it's by the kilo not by the hour although by the kilo is probably cheaper than by the hour but yeah it'll be yeah because you have a little more stuff than you did when you moved out there yes you have a house now i have a house now i also have to figure out how to prep and sell a house which never done before you know you um i mean hiring people hire people to like but to prep your house but there are videos on youtube to show you how to do it oh yeah yeah, yeah. i love that because you need to minimalize it but still be personal a little bit but you don't want photo like you did staging yeah. it's a whole it, it's a whole art it is. And I have an absolutely fabulous um, real estate agent down here. So she is actually quite good at, at that. We had fun staging our old house. It was empty. Because <laughs> we were lucky enough to be able to keep the house to do the renovations and then sell it. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go for this place, but we'll see. I bought boxes to um, start packing stuff. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, the advantage too is you have an unfinished basement. Yes. So you, I mean, I don't think the real, like, when you're taking photos, you know, you cannot take photos of that pile of boxes in that corner, but this is the basement kind of thing. Like you can, have, but so you'll be able to declutter upstairs easily. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I was hoping to be in a new house in Ottawa by Christmas. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. No, that would be a little, a little too much. So, I mean, if anyone wants to, you know, buy a book for, to help defray moving expenses, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll link that in the show notes. But yeah, I've already started it and it's my book. It's my jam. It's like, Good, wolves good. fairies vampires you know i don't think there are any no but i'm just saying like any like phase and anything like that it's me the next book will have not the next well actually the next one in that series will probably have more to do with that stuff too but the series i'm working on right now is like werewolves so yes. that's i like that kind of stuff and i like like detective like right now I'm listening to the Shea Archer series and I'm on like book seven or book eight. I mean, it's taking me a long time because I don't listen to it all the time, but it's those types. And then I love like the type like you wrote and yeah. so, but I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, we're alive. We've been knitting. We've seen each other in person. Yep. Twice, because I was up in March and then up in July. Yeah. Well, I guess June, because I came home on the second. Yeah. So I, I trained up there, trained. I took the train up there, word Sue, and then we did a mini yarn crawl. Mini. But we went to, where did we go? The Knitting Loft? Romney? Rom yep. And, and then we attempted. Yarns Untangled, but they weren't open. No. Yeah. They were closed or unforeseen circumstances. Romney was underwhelming. 
Yeah. It like are. the hype I've heard years and years and years, and it it just wasn't. It was okay. Knitting loft was beautiful. Yes, it was very nice. Romney, I find, is kind of like um, uh, wool time. Yeah, it's very much. They have like the uh, they've got a good mill. In, well, they used to have a good mill end section, um, and they're very much the big name sweater quantities. Yeah, I mean, I have a sweater quantity. I don't have any in my yarn here. I wasn't even going to bother going over stash, but I did buy a sweater quantity there for the ink and brass. Is that what the name of it? Yes. Yeah. No, you bought that at um, the other place. Knitting loft. Yeah. Yeah, that's Not what wrong. I meant. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, you're talking about Romney used to have mill ends and stuff. Okay. Yeah. And they're, they're very good for like the big names like Cascade. And yeah. whatnot. They have a lot of yarn. But it was, it was just, it wasn't, I don't know. It's not special to me. No, but the knitting loft was beautiful. Oh my God, yes. God. The wall of, um, uh, what's her name? Oh my God. Bien aimé. Mm, that yeah. and the um, Philomen, whatever you call that, um, fill them in something but yeah no no they had they had a lot it was it was nice yeah so i guess that's it that's it i will not get this edited this evening this is saturday the 10th i don't know if i did say that at the beginning no i don't think we did no yeah saturday the 10th of september september i'll put that at the beginning when i edit because that might that might help <laughs> We did say eight months, so people who do watch us. Yeah, yeah, you can do. Guess yeah. what, people? Surprise! Sunday morning, maybe not Sunday morning, probably Sunday afternoon. Um, yeah. But yeah, so hopefully we can get back on somewhat of a schedule. But as you see, we don't force anything. I, I don't want to be that, got to put it out every week. Yeah. We, it do just, it. It does. we just do it because, I mean... I might be doing fine one week. You might not be next week. Like it just, it's, it is what it is. Yep. So hopefully you enjoy um, our, uh, our ramble, our ramble and our stuffs and, you know, words, we have them. Yep. So we will see you all next time. Everybody. I hope you're staying safe, enjoying what little of summer we have left coming. I'm not, depending on your part of the country or the world, you might be in winter right now. Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Is Australia winter? I think so. Yeah. I think they're going into spring. We're yeah. going into fall. Yeah. So that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully we'll be back soon. We are on yeah. Instagram. You can message us anytime. We will answer. Yes, you can. All righty. Take care. Bye. Bye. Can I do it? Yes. Can I do it? Wait. Oh.